Geometric shapes the size of a football field. What kind of machine can bend a stock of corn over without breaking it? Can't be by hand. It's too perfect. So the aliens can't read our minds. No. Oh. Some animals around the county have been acting funny. Some of them violent. It's almost like they act when they smell a predator around. <laughs> Amman, Nairobi, Bangalore, and Jerusalem. And the Same lake. shows on every station. Every station. It is the 18th reported crop site in that country in the last 72 hours. I'm a little scared. All this stuff on TV. Joe Gills was in here talking about the end of the world. They're staying in the shadows. It's called programming to make sure things are all clear. Clear for what? For the rest of them. There's a monster outside my room. Can I have a glass of water? sent to get you for a reason. Open the door! No! There's a flower on the pillows, a flower in the bathroom. Like, we're important. The only chance we have is if all three of us go crazy on this guy. Who is that? Maybe she can help us. We're here! Help us! We're in here! Don't worry. He's not allowed to touch you. He knows what you're here for. He listens to me. My name's Hedwig. How old are you? Nine. I've never seen a case like this before. 23 identities live in Kevin's body. Who are you? Help me get out of here, Hedwig. Are you trying to trick me? I'll tell on you. Aren't you the clever one? An individual with multiple personalities can change their body chemistry ah! with their thoughts. Someone's coming for you. Who's coming? The beast. <sighs> There's a man here. He abducted us and he's going to kill me. We're meant for something. Something horrible. The world will understand now. The beast is real. He's done awful things to people and he'll do awful things to you. It's amazing to meet you. It is simply extraordinary. Maybe this will all make sense if I explain who I am. My name is Dr. Ellie Staple, and I'm a psychiatrist. 
my work concerns a particular type of delusion of grandeur. It's a growing field. I specialize in those individuals who believe they are superheroes. <laughs> Good for you. The three of you have convinced yourselves you have extraordinary gifts like something out of a comic book. David Dunn, the only person to survive that train wreck all those years ago. What do you do? I'm in security. You think you have superpowers? It's a feeling. Vision. I have to touch them. You believe you are a protector. My name is Patricia. I have no question. There are two dozen identities. I'm Mary Reynolds. Por favor, senora. We almost got you, bro. That live in that body with you. The beast is coming any minute now for you guys. But what I am questioning is your belief that you are something more than human. <laughs> and yet, it is true. My bones break easily. I've had 94 breaks in my life. But you have an extraordinary IQ. This is not a cartoon. This is the real world. No way. And yet, some of us still don't die with bullets. Some of us can still bend steel. I've been waiting for the world to see that we exist. May I meet the beast? I hope for your sake that he likes you. That sounds like the bad guys teaming up. A lot of people are going to die. Don't do this. Are you ready? What do we call you, sir? First name, mister. Last name, Glass. Just tuning in, East Rail train number 177 has derailed just outside Philadelphia. Are you certain you were in the passenger car? Why are you looking at me like that? To answer your question, there are two reasons why I'm looking at you like this. One, because it seems in a few minutes that you'll officially be the only survivor of this train wreck. And two, because you didn't break one bone. Couldn't there be someone else who doesn't get sick, who doesn't get hurt like the rest of us? And he probably doesn't even know him. the kind of person these stories are about. There have been three major disasters, and you were the only one unharmed. I've spoken with your husband about his survival. I suggested a rather unbelievable possibility. Since then, I've come to believe that possibility, however unbelievable, is now more a probability. My decision is... <laughs> that I want to start again. You know what the scariest thing is? To not know your place in this world. Comics are often attributed special powers, invisibility, x-ray vision, things of that sort.
accident there. Yeah. Someone got her. They did? A lady. She broke her neck. Oh, my God. But you can see her? Yes. Where is she? Standing next to my window. Did you ever talk to your mom about how things are? I don't tell her things. Why not? Because she doesn't look at me like everybody else, and I don't want her to. I don't want her to know. Know what? I see dead people walking around like regular people. I don't see anything. Are you sure they're there? Sometimes you feel it inside, like you're falling down real fast. Do you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck? Yes. That's them. They get mad. It gets cold. How often do you see them? All the time. They're everywhere. <laughs> they want me to do things for them. I think that they know that you're one of these very rare people who can see them. So you need to help them. What if they don't want help? I don't think that's the way it works. How do you know for sure? Is anyone there? 